In this demo, you're going to see a modern attack from the CrowdStrike perspective. What distinguishes a modern attack from older attacks is really three key characteristics. First, they begin with a fileless infection. By not writing anything to disk, they can bypass most legacy AV solutions. Second, detection. Second, once they have control of the system, they use built-in tools like PowerShell to evade detection. Again, this is a blind spot for legacy AV solutions because they trust those built-in tools and lack the capability to investigate the particulars of what those tools are doing. Finally, the modern attack will persist in the environment by establishing backdoors that are so subtle that they slip past detection by most security tools. These techniques are an obvious choice for attackers because they allow them to easily bypass antivirus, firewalls, application whitelisting solutions, and even sandboxes. They do not, however, bypass CrowdStrike, and that is exactly what you're going to see in this demo. This is our management console. All of our apps and services are managed here. On the left-hand side, you can see all the apps that you have access to. These apps give you the ability to manage your implementation of Falcon and also give you the visibility necessary to identify, investigate, and remediate threats. In fact, that visibility is a foundational element of our solution. We operate as a DVR for your endpoint, recording all activity so that it can be understood in a security context. This data also provides basic IT hygiene data so that you can understand where you have coverage and where you don't. This includes information on managed and unmanaged systems, as well as insight into application usage and privileged account usage. This raw visibility is incredibly powerful, but where CrowdStrike really shines is in its ability to automatically identify threats in that data set. So let's go to the Activity app to investigate a threat that we recently automatically identified. This is the process tree that shows the complete context, really tells the whole story of the attack. The most obvious part of the attack is this icon indicating that a piece of malware was blocked. You can see that our machine learning identified this file as malicious and prevented it from executing. This little sliver of the attack is what you're used to seeing with a legacy AV solution. CrowdStrike goes far beyond simply showing when it blocks a piece of malware. It provides a complete view of the attack in real time. It also provides forensic details on the right hand side of the screen to speed investigation and response. This level of detail would take days or weeks to compile with legacy tools but you can see that we deliver a live view of forensic details right alongside the process tree. To better understand this attack, we simply move up the process tree. In this case, we see that the incident started in Outlook. From Outlook, the user clicked a link and launched Internet Explorer. The website was able to exploit a vulnerability in Internet Explorer in order to instigate a drive-by download. This tells me that I'm dealing with a phishing attack. More importantly, I can see that the attacker was successful and that this attack is ongoing. Now that he has remote control of the system, he begins working towards his goal. The easiest option for the attacker was to drop malware, but that was blocked. So now it's time to use the tools that won't be blocked. In this case, he's using the Windows command prompt, but attackers will use just about anything that's built into the system, like PowerShell, WMI, PSExec, or scripting files like batch files or VBS files. Legacy tools cannot see malicious actions being taken by these utilities because they are trusted tools. CrowdStrike sees all activity on the machine, even activity carried out by trusted applications. This makes it easy to see the malicious activity. In fact, we can see every single operation done by the attacker down to the specific commands he typed in the command line. In this case, we see that he started by using who am I to see if he has admin rights. He does not, so now he has to get some admin credentials. To do this, he invokes a PowerShell script that downloads a credential stealing tool called Mimikatz and injects it into running memory, again, to avoid writing anything to disk. He then uses this tool to get the password for the system admin account. He can now continue his attack with completely legitimate credentials making it impossible for most security tools to distinguish him from a legitimate administrator. It looks like he then took it a step further and also created a second administrative account on the system. This enables him to persist on the system even if someone realizes that the admin account was compromised. We then see the attacker attempting to ping his command and control server. This particular domain is known by CrowdStrike intelligence to be malicious. 
to learn more about this indicator, we can pivot to the Actors app to see what else CrowdStrike knows about this attacker. A quick search reveals that this C2 server is known by CrowdStrike Intelligence to be associated with a Russian adversary known as Fancy Bear. This level of threat intelligence is unique to CrowdStrike and enables you to further explore the incident, understand potential alternative attack vectors, and work towards predicting future attacks. In this case, we can take their other known C2 domains and see if anyone in our environment is connecting to them. In seconds, we can see all systems currently connected to those domains, and also all systems that have ever connected to those domains in the past. Retrospectively searching for data like this is extremely difficult, but we can do it in real time because of our threat graph. Interestingly, that very same data in the threat graph is also being proactively investigated by our Falcon Overwatch team on a 24 by seven basis. They act as active partners in the defense of your environment and in this case, they also saw the threat and thought it was severe enough for you to be alerted. Not only do they alert you to the threat, but they also provide full details on the attack and share their expertise with you to help guide remediation. This kind of assistance is a huge value add for both mature security operations centers, as well as organizations that do not yet have a fully staffed SOC. The good news is that I now have confirmation that only one of my systems is talking to any of these domains, so we can jump back into that investigation. The alarming thing about the state of the system is that this ping command is currently running. This means the attacker is live inside my environment right now. To kick the attacker out and to mitigate the spread of the threat, we can network contain the system. This containment survives reboots and also comes with the flexibility to block all connections except those that are made to the Falcon platform or to other security tools that you specify. You can see the attacker system in the corner and you see that as soon as I hit the contain button, the attacker loses his access. The attacker has been kicked off the system and the security team can now move forward with confidence. Now that the situation is under control, we can begin to track and ultimately close out the issue. Here, we assign the case to our investigations team. At this moment, we can zoom out and recap everything that just happened. It's also important to note that for the sake of this demo, we set our policies to merely detect rather than block the various stages of the attack. But please understand that we have full blocking capability and could have stopped this threat at multiple points in the attack. It's also crucial to understand the role that the Overwatch team plays in this. They see all activity, across all customers and use that global view to provide you with better protection. Also, if you look at this attack, you can see that multiple protection mechanisms were used. We stopped the malware with machine learning. We used exploit protection features to identify the initial exploit. We used our system recording and behavioral analytics to identify the malware free elements of the attack. We even had a real human, an expert threat hunter, chime in to help work the incident. While we have a number of competitors who can do bits and pieces of this, CrowdStrike is the only security company that can do it all. Combining this complete level of protection and visibility with a cloud architecture that's easy to implement and built on a single lightweight agent, you can see how we're really changing the game for endpoint security solutions.